We are certain that no matter what website you're working on, who the client is, or what your product might be, one of our main goals, if not our primary objective for our website is getting as many leads as possible, which is why our gut feeling is telling us that you're going to love this tutorial. In this week's Monday Masterclass, we'll be covering the basic website that you'll need for maximum conversions. Since many of our viewers are web creators, we thought that it would be a good idea to use an example of a web creator's website, offering professional web design and site building services. What we have here is a basic site, and you may recognize that the template we're using is the digital agency template kit we released recently. As you can see, it includes a home page, about, and contact us pages. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that all our contact info is here and easy to find. You would be surprised how many people forget about this basic step, so much so that we're making a point of listing this step first. Moreover, double check your contact info. Make sure that it is correct. Now, remember that we want to hook our visitors as soon as possible, before they bounce. So we need to think of this in a similar way to the way we think of an elevator pitch. We want to pitch our business and services briefly and clearly. To do so, we first need to answer two key questions. What is it that we do? And how do we do it? We want to engage the user right off the bat, giving them the basic info to whet their curiosity in an instant, driving the visitor to explore the rest of our site. Because we want to encourage the interested visitor to submit their contact info, we'll want to try to keep the contact form short. Once submitted, this visitor becomes a new lead, who we will initiate contact with. Oh, and to avoid any embarrassment, we suggest that once you set up the form, be sure to test it and make sure that it works. Next, we'll set up pop-ups. You might be asking yourself, what is the point of pop-ups? And the answer to that question is leads, leads, leads. The digital agency kit features an example of an email button that triggers a pop-up with a call to action. This pop-up proposes a quid pro quo offering valuable business information in exchange for the visitor's contact information. We could also use time-delayed pop-ups. If, for example, the visitor remains idle on the page for, say, 10 seconds, a pop-up is triggered to appear and suggest that they subscribe to our newsletter. We could also use exit pop-ups that are triggered as the visitor exits the page, prompting them to subscribe, you know, in case they forget. Speaking of things that we can't ignore, social media plays a crucial role in marketing and therefore is a vital means of generating conversions. Some users don't have the time to fill in forms. There are also users who will bounce at the mere sight of a form no matter how short we've made it. However, if they are interested, even a little, they will be willing, perhaps even prefer, to follow you on Twitter or Instagram. Adding social buttons is one of those things we can do in Elementor faster than you can spell widget and without having to install any additional plugins. Now, here's an interesting fact. Over 500 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Why? Because users increasingly prefer to watch content than read it. So let's make this step five and add a video to our page we'll make it stand out by framing it with a light box. We'll do this by editing the button options in the editor panel. We'll click on the dynamic option in the menu. We'll select light box. Then click on the light box option again to edit the details of our light box and then enter our video's URL. After watching your video, visitors are much more likely to get what you are offering and be more inclined to connect with your business. One last optional step to maximize leads is to add a countdown timer. A countdown what, I hear you ask through the screen? Well, it turns out that this is one of those little things that we've been kinda taking for granted that are actually useful for generating leads and sales. Here's an example of using the countdown timer to promote a webinar. 
Adding an evergreen countdown timer will drive more potential clients to the webinar. Perhaps it's FOMO or general interest. The fact is that every time a visitor arrives on our landing page and sees our counter ticking down, they'll check out our webinar. We hope that you found this has been helpful and inspiring. And if you did, make sure that you never miss another masterclass by clicking on the subscribe button and tap that bell. As always, we'd appreciate any comments and insight that you may have. We want to hear any criticism and obviously any helpful tips that could help other users. After all, our goal is to be the best at helping others excel at their craft. Thanks for watching. Cheers.